The Ontario Premier Doug Ford wants to know why the province's deficit will reach $15 billion this year when the previous government said it would be $6.7 billion. Today he announced an investigation into the Liberals' handling of Ontario's books. We're going to put forward a motion to strike a select committee. This committee will have the power to call witnesses, to compel documents, to gather evidence. We expect that this committee will leave no stone unturned. The Premier is calling the fiscal situation the biggest government scandal in a generation. So what is the Liberal Party's response? Joining me now in Toronto, Liberal finance critic Mitzi Hunter. Hi, Ms. Hunter. Thanks for being with us. Really appreciate your time. Hi, Vashi. Thank you for having me today. So you served as Associate Finance Minister in the Wynne government. Did your government fudge the numbers as the Premier is accusing you of doing? Well, Vashi, all the numbers uh, that have been revealed by the Ford government were already in the public domain. They were well known. They were well documented. There's been many uh, reports covering those numbers. And um, they're just acting surprised now um, that they want to use those numbers to uh, make the deficit look bigger to cover the cuts that are coming for Ontarians. Well, actually, I think what you're alluding to is the Auditor General, who also pointed out pointed out that the deficit was much bigger than, than your government's budget had projected. The AG projected an $11.7 billion deficit. What the Commission of Inquiry under the Ford government has found is that deficit is even larger, $3 billion larger. So that is an extra $3 billion. Well, you know, I read the Commission of Inquiry's report and it actually gives a provisional acceptance of the Auditor General's numbers. It says that, you know, let's let the government and the Auditor General sit down and talk about the difference in opinion in terms of how the assets, the pension assets, should be recognized. Uh, we, uh, we were you know, very clear and, and a number of experts, uh, uh, professional accountants uh, provided opinion to that effect that those assets uh, should, a, a portion of them should definitely uh, be considered uh, on Ontario's books. And that's that's the difference of opinion. It was a, a well-documented uh, dis dispute that we had. And, uh, and now the Ford government is saying, well, on a provisional basis, uh, we will not include those assets. Uh, they've inflated the deficit. Uh, now to $15 billion, and I think they've done that because of the cuts that are coming to programs and services that people rely on in healthcare, education, and, uh, and, and infrastructure. I want to ask you about the potential for those cuts in a second, but I do also want to point out that the AG didn't just talk about the pension issues. Uh, she also pointed out that the Fair about, uh, she also pointed to, I'm sorry, the Fair Hydro Plan uh, and, and said that your government, when your party was in government, did not count the borrowing against the province's books, but put the financial burden on Ontario power generation. Generation. What Mr. Ford today called that a cover-up, was it? Did you use accounting tricks, dirty accounting tricks? Not at all. It was all uh, publicly disclosed. This was all known prior to the election. And, uh, and what they've now done is they've shifted the burden from the rate base to the tax base. Uh, but the, the cost is still there. So is the AG wrong? Well, it, once again, it's a it's a difference in opinion. Um, we felt that uh, the the rate base was the appropriate place uh, where um, that that uh, cost should be borne, and um, you know the AG and and now the Ford government feel that that should be borne by taxpayers. If those if if it is borne by taxpayers, or if there are uh, cuts that result from from the size of this deficit, does your party feel any sense of responsibility? for those cuts, given what the AG had pointed out? Well, you know, I think the responsibility uh, should be borne by this current government who knew uh, going into the election uh, the, uh, the fact that they were going to adopt these numbers. These, these numbers were publicly known all along and, uh, and really campaigned irresponsibly. They made more promises than any other party. Uh, they promised that they were going to cut $6 billion uh, off, the, uh, off of program expenses and, uh, and they weren't going to lay anybody off. They also promised that they were going to reduce revenues. Uh, I, I just don't see how they could go out uh, during a campaign, make all of these promises and then come back uh, weeks later saying that they've discovered something that they've known all along. Do you understand though how, you know, they might say, well, you're calling them irresponsible. They, they would turn the tables on, on your party and say, you're the ones who shave billions of dollars off of the deficit. And now whoever, whomever got into government has to deal with that.
Well, you know, uh, before uh, leaving office, uh, our 2018 budget, uh, uh, we, we balanced uh, uh, the budget uh, in uh, 20, 2017 budget. Though this commissioner said that that was not the case. Well, you know, they've uh, gone back and, uh, you know, made the story that they wanted to tell. Um, and I understand that. But uh, I think Gordon we Campbell made the story that he wanted to tell. Well, you know, I, I, I actually read the, the, the commissioner's uh, report. Um, it, it actually acknowledged that um, a lot of the spending that happened under our Liberal government was actually infrastructure spending. It was also um, leading Ontario out of uh, the Great Recession of 08, 09, and the investments that we had to make in this province. And you can really see that by our record. You know, 20 year um, of the lowest unemployment rate, um, the, the highest foreign direct investment uh, over the last five years in North America. And uh, and just recently, uh, all of the rating agencies confirmed uh, Ontario's very high credit rating. So, so when we look at our Liberal record in terms of the economy, um, we've invested in Ontario's economy and, and you can really see that. Uh, the but highest there's going to be a $15 billion deficit and people are paying the highest level of non-sovereign state debt right now. Well, when we when we look at what uh, what comprises uh, the majority of that, uh, that was investments that we made in infrastructure. Those those infrastructure investments, uh, whether they're in hospitals, in roads, in transit, in schools, that's going to um, sustain Ontario for years and years to come. Those are investments that we're going to see a return on in Ontario's economy. So so they're not just based on program spending alone. If it results, though, in cuts, in those cuts that, that you're concerned of, that the NDP is concerned of, uh, you know, do, do you do you have any sense of sort of regret, I guess? Well, it is this current Ford government that's using um, a, 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 an inflated uh, number that they have created to justify. To be fair, an independent cuts. commissioner. An independent commissioner, which they which they hired and, and brought in to to do this work, and uh, and and they're going to use that to justify severe cuts to things that people really rely on in Ontario, whether it's through healthcare, our education system. Uh, we need to to invest in those uh, in those at a time when we need to invest. This government is going to um, tell Ontarians that they need to make deep cuts, and this this is all about covering for those cuts. Minister Fideli, we had him on the show on Friday. He insisted, you know, we, we held up the tweet from the premier saying no job will be cut. He insisted that's still the case. Do you believe them? I don't believe him. Um, I asked the question uh, of, of him uh, and the premier in the house and I received no answer. How are you going to manage uh, reducing revenues, uh, increasing uh, your spending on things like uh, subways in Scarborough, which we welcome, and at the same time, you're not going to lay anyone off. So, you know, I want to see how that's going to be balanced, and, and the Ford government owes Ontario an economic plan that really lays out um, how they're going to make that work. Okay, I have to leave it there, but thank you very much for your time, Ms. Hunter. Thanks, Pashi.